Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. My name's Dan. I'm here in the Philippines. I'm uh, on a set of steps that goes down to my well. I want to show you an example of something. If you're into like making walking sticks and things like that, a cool way to do that is to knock down some trees and get them growing horizontally like this right here. See this big branch here? It's just actually the trunk of a tree. It's got blown over by the typhoon in December. And all the branches turn straight up to the sun. And this is this is the growth from just six well seven months ago, seven and a half months ago. And like that that branch right there, that was I don't know how big it was when it started, but it's it's an inch and a half around now. Perfect for a walking stick. What's really nice about them though is a lot of times you get them on the side a little bit more, they'll have a a bend on them and then and then you cut you cut it off here with a knob you have a, a bend for your hand for like a cane and then a knob on it uh, I used to spend a lot of time back in Iowa I drive around the, the old gravel roads and um, places where where roads were um, dug out and you'd have like a five to a ten foot semi-vertical wall on the edge of the gravel roads you know in the hill country and then out of that hill you'd have you'd have branches growing out and then they they turn up to go to the sun and those give you some really nice angles for handles on walking sticks and canes just just a tidbit for you my favorite wood for walking sticks is red cedar I'd go up in the river bluffs along the Mississippi and I'd get up on the t very top of them where there's lots of wind and then there'd be there'd be cedar trees probably anywhere from a foot and a half to three foot across and then the branches usually start between three and five feet up coming out they look like they're completely dead there's no leaves on them or anything like that but they're actually most of them are still actually alive but a lot of those branches you gotta figure those branches are probably you know 60 70 years old and the beauty of them is you cut those off you don't really hurt the tree at all but the neat thing about them is they're just there's just very little white sapwood on them and almost the whole the the whole branch is the red cedar and almost like a fatwood you know but uh be make beautiful walking sticks and beautiful for carve I, I carve faces like wood spirits into my walking sticks that's about the only talent I have is it's just a matter of a few techniques to car carve a uh, wood spirit in I can't I can't take a picture and draw <laughs> carve that or anything like that I can just draw the their carve the basic wood spirits styles sometimes I'll carve a lizard or something like that I call my carving stylized because I don't put a lot of detail in them especially lizards and snakes and stuff like that it's just the shapes so you can see what they are but they look pretty cool I'll show you some of my sticks sometime that's all I got guys I'm just gonna head back up my, my legs are just covered with mosquitoes here there's clouds of them around me it's been kind of the rainy season here so you can see there's our hillside this was all almost clear after the typhoon it's just turned into a little jungle again so take care everybody, hashtag 22 a day no more, go outside, have some fun, watch your six really close, know what's going around, going on all around you guys, so important with the, the way things are nowadays, don't take things for granted, appreciate what you have and especially the people around you, so until next time, have a great day and be safe.